Jimmy Lee Jackson was born in 1938. He was a civil rights activist in Marion, Alabama, and a deacon in the Baptist Church. On February 18, 1965, while participating in a peaceful voting rights march in his city, his mother, Viola Jackson, and his old grandfather, Kegar Lee, ran it into a mock coffee behind the church, pursued by state trooper. Police clubbed Lee to the floor in the kitchen when Viola attempted to pull the police off. She was also beaten. When Jackson tried to protect his mother, one trooper threw him against a cigarette machine. A second trooper shot Jackson twice in the abdomen by James Bonner Fowler, the person who can see on the poster. Jackson was unarmed and he died eight days later in the hospital in February 26, 1965. And this night, about 500 people organized a walk to the Perry County Jail. His death was part of the inspiration for the Selma to Montgomery March in March 1965. 165, a major event in the civil rights movement that helped gain congressional passage of the Voting Rights Act of 1965. This opened the door to millions of African Americans being able to vote again in Alabama and across the South. Regaining participation as citizen in political system for the first time since the turn of the 20th century. When Jimmy Lee death, nobody was judged for the murder, but on May 10, 2007, Fowler, the policeman who killed Jimmy Lee, was charged with the first degree and second degree murder for Jackson's death and surrendered to authorities on November 40, 2010. Fowler pled guilty to manslaughter and apologized publicly for killing Jackson. He said he had acted in self-defense and he was sentenced to six months in jail.